Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, this is actually the first Legacy Daily that I've been able to get a hold of. Uh, they've been firing every Sunday now for the past couple of weeks, but this was the first one that I had a chance, and I am going to play first. And I am going to keep this hand. Let's see, so we have different options, different paths that we can take. Uh, we can Thought Seize, we can go for the Liliana, and then Thought Seize. I'm just going to open up with a Thought Seize, and we'll see where it goes from there. So... The reason I'm doing that is just simply because I can always green some Zenith the next turn if need be. Uh, and our opponent's going to 6, which is really 5, which is really 4, and keeps. So, let's see how this goes. Force, force, force. Reanimator! Hmm. Yay. Alright, so different options. If he draws the black source, then that could cause a problem. Um, let's go to to stop that. I'm perfectly fine with him landing gr Gristle Blank. Blah, 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 that guy after I get the Liliana out there. Um, let's go ahead and F4. So he did not. Uh, the only bad things that I can think of right now. So we're actually going to go get Bird. Go get a Scrubland, and... I know, I know, this could be turned into a Scavenging Ooze, but that's a little ways away. And Liliana will start discarding very, very soon. Ah, he drew another Brainstorm. It'll still take him two turns unless he finds a careful study in order to get Gristlebrand in play. And... That's really all that we have to deal with. I mean, we could have taken the the reanimate. All right, so there's that. Let's see if he got a force or a daze as well. So we now have two sacrifice effects on Liliana. I'm going to get rid of Pride Mage. He got rid of a Krakus. Alright, so. There's an Entomb. They don't play a Chroma anymore, so I don't think we have to worry about that. He'll probably get a Gristlebrand. Hopefully we draw a... Uh... Name of the spell, please. Or a la card. Land. There we go. A land. Uh... <laughs> Even if it's the Bajooka Bog, that's fine. It just means that we force him to discard, and then we eat. Oh, he's getting Jin. Anime dead. Makes me wish I still had this. So he'll go up to nine. We still want the land. Imperial Archangel. We did not get a land. Alright. This will get dazed, it's unfortunate but true, but that just means that he can only... Oh, it made it into play. How did that make it into play? Did he not draw a counterspell at all? Yeah. By the way, I should have played this last turn and not this. Uh, this can fetch out and deal with anything except for this. This is by far and away the most difficult thing in the world to play against against this deck, with this deck. This is something that, if they want to beat me, they should be fetching this out. It's hard for me to block it. It's hard for me to, to deal with it at all. Um, now that there's a knight in play, he's going to end up having to go get Angel of Despair. Uh, once everything's all said and done, like if he doesn't bring anything back this turn, then next turn I can just force this discard, get rid of the JIT, which is pretty much worthless, and 
bog him when he tries to do something. And that'll leave me with dealing with whatever he goes and gets. Reanimating Kasali Pride Mage. And exhuming. Okay. Well, if Knight landed, this Pulse should land as well. Uh, if he exhumes the right thing, then we could be in trouble. Otherwise, it's pretty much okay. Got Jin back. So he'll draw his extra cards. More food. More food. Now I'd like a land. Yay. What are the chances that he runs misdirect? Hum. 7 cards. I, I don't know. I don't like Misdirect is one of those possibilities. I mean, if we try and misdirect, he bounces, and then we're pretty much SOL. Uh, Jin right now can't do much. I think I'm just going to go ahead, discard, and play the JIT. And we'll get rid of Stoneforge. We can take a hit. We can shove a bird in the way as well. And if he goes exhume again, then we get to go ahead and do this. But the theory of it is that we should be fine. I mean, he's got most of his singletons out already. Most of the lists are playing four Gristlebrand and two to three of something else. So if that's the case... Here's Gristlebrand number five, and he's just trying to find a way to deal with this. Bird's a very good blocker. And if it gets to my end step, I can fetch out Maze of It. I don't have to blow the bog. Because I highly doubt that he has main decked... Uh, No, I can't even think of the name. Careful study. Yeah, he's digging. He's trying to find some way to deal with what we've got. Might just let him deck himself first. I was wondering why he got this. He should have just gotten his Archangel. No, except for I'd just fetch, bounce, and then force sacrifice. But then I'd be down to Liliana. You can't swing both because my knight's too big. Alright. So, that's going at Lily, as thought. Declare attacker step, declare blocker step. Birds is there. I'm trying to think. He already played his land, so he can't into or exhume, and then I will let that ability resolve. No. Yep, keep discarding. Elish Norn, so he's got at least four. By the way, this is also our win condition at this point with only 24 cards. Let me see, he's drawing essentially eight per turn. So, three more turns.
There's another blocker. Make that end of combat trigger. So we should be good. He's got to blow this on this. Otherwise, we just get the ability to just go whatever and kill it anyway. So, I mean, he's got a choice here, and it's not a good one. We get to throw the gin in the yard, and then we can fetch Caracas. If he goes for an exhum, we uh, just blow his yard. Yep. Figured. Alright, so let's just get the hard part out now. Turn that off, and... I am going to force him to sacrifice the Jinja Taxus. I know I said that it was the win condition, but... What better way to fight a deck than to take away all of its resources? Next turn we can start beating for 5, most likely. We've still got our bog up. Cool. If he gets a non-legend outside of Blazing Archon. Yeah, those are two pretty good reasons to play Reanimator. I mean, Gristlebrand is the reason everybody's going nuts over it. This is one of the fastest ways to put it into play, but... What good is it if it's not in play? Also, this deck is not very good against things that fight it in every area. Uh, graveyard, Hand, and Library. Or not Library, but, uh, well, at some points, Library. I mean, so we know exactly what he's doing. We're just going to bog him. Don't have a stifle, because that would be really annoying. Let's see, what do we want back? I kind of want the bird back, actually. Wait, he... He did not have an Entomb. Let's take a look. What do we have for options? Why didn't he Entomb? He's got to have one in hand. Oh, come on, get bigger. All right, that's just annoying. All right, so we have three different options. Mystic goes and gets Batter Skull, which we don't have enough mana to actually take use of. This shuts down Animate Dead, which I really don't care about, and this gives me a mana. I guess of all these things, the Batter Skull is probably the most useful. It at least thins our deck. We can still put it down next turn. Now, if you animate something now, I'm going to be very cross with you. Yeah, I should have gone for the bird. You know, as much as I'm talking and trying to explain things out, he's still the worst for time. Careful study. Uh, that may have been a reason. He may actually not. How many cards did we get rid of? Entomb. Entomb, Entomb, Entomb. Okay, so all four of them are in there. I did not realize that. Pitching days and... It doesn't really matter, dude. Dude, guy, hey. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And force. Post board, we're looking at things like Submerge, if he's playing those lists. Uh, not exactly 
the worst card in the world for us to have to deal with. The good thing for him, though, is uh, Liliana stays in, and it's at least a discard outlet, and it can't be show and tell. So, the only thing he has to worry about in that edge is Knight, and we're both playing discard spells. So, yeah. I'm still wondering if he's got a basic swamp. Going after my pride mage again. Good job. I'll just discard this. I really don't care. <laughs> then again. Let's see. He's at 15. Going to 6 doesn't really matter. Even 7 doesn't matter. 7 and 8 would matter, but I mean, we can do that on this turn as well. So, let's find out. By the way, he's got enough land that he should probably have stopped playing it. I'm so happy I got that there and there was a stop. I think I'm going to leave that there for now. <laughs> combat so if I discard Bob he'll reanimate Bob if I play Bob he'll counter Bob definitely gonna counter Bob who cares If he really, really, really wants to do that, he can. Yep, hey, look, you got a Gristlebrand. You don't have enough life to animate him, draw seven cards, and do something relevant before I fetch Caracas and bounce it. Animate dead. Only got one bug. I hold silver away. Are you going to go to three? Reanimate. Targeting bird of paradise. This plan is flawed. Yep. The best part about this is I still don't have a forest, but I have a Caracas. Put that back up. Yep. All right. Game two. What do we want to do for game two? Things he's expecting. We could go this route. I'm not really all that worried. These are too slow. That's just first thing. This is pointless. And we don't need one of these. I guess this is better than a second one of these. Oop, almost got rid of that pile. So, let's see, we cut 6 plus 9 is 15, and we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Deal. Normally, I try to bring in one of these when I see a gin, to gin uh, just because it's a one drop removal spell that you can use at the beginning or at the end of their second main phase to kill it but I have a feeling that if he's able to go that fast and that strong he's just gonna go for the uh, the gristle brand so alright let's give it a shot 
Thoughtseize, Duress, Wasteland, Green Sun, Zenith, no green mana. Sure. Ponder. Alright, so we're probably going to waste him this turn. We do need a green mana. Oh god, that's the worst thing that I could have seen. Next turn, we'll duress him. The turn after that, we'll play Thalia. He's entombing. Probably going to daze. Or he's brainstorming. Yay! I think. I hate drawing this card, by the way. If anybody's ever wondered. So that'll... Yep. Good thing about Daze. He can't do anything this turn. Um, we're still going to Thought Tease him next turn. Yep. Maybe we'll Thought Tease him next turn. We're going to Thought Tease or Thalia. Those are the two options. These two cards are still dead. We need a green. Need, need, need so bad. Um, one of the things that he may end up doing is discard this and then uh, <laughs> anim or reanimating it, which seems worse for him, especially at this model of <laughs> mana, and he's got one more. So get rid of the Thalia. God, it makes me think he's going to do it. Yay! Um, I'm not going to let him see that. Exhum, exhum, force, show and tell. Well, I guess I have to take the show and tell. Let's see if he drew a blue card. We'll get the bayou. The reason I'm getting this down now is because next turn I can, uh, what's the word, keep a green up. So, I can also just fetch knight, but yeah, fetching knight actually seems like it wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Unless we can just play a knight. I will be keeping two of these cards. We're keeping this one. Alright, so first thing, thoughts ease. I'm gonna get rid of the force. Um reason I got rid of the force, and I hate having two forests in play. Most of you should know that already, though. <sighs> five, five, knight, go. So he's got reanimate. Careful study. Nice draw. Show and tell, and exhum. Careful study. You should hit something soon. But we will have access to our Caracas. The worst thing that he could do is actually have, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. I am full of burps today. If he draws the Gristlebrand, we can fetch out the Maze of Ith. I hate having this in play. 
Dear Lord, I hate having them play. Hand. Hand, hand. Alright, so if he plays that, we could be in trouble. That's not exactly a friendly, friendly card. It's a very good card. I am not looking forward to playing against it. We will need something to deal with this. Engine to Texas. If he doesn't get this, we should be okay, in theory. Reanimate targeting tides about Tyrant. Okay. There's a way to deal with it. Ta-da! And I don't really want either of these, so. Alright, first thing, get rid of that. Second thing, bog his yard. I'm pretty sure that this is just a clear blowout at this point. Third thing. Come on, there we go. Scavenging goose. And we're leaving the knight back. We have a Thalia in our yard. Uh, um, let's see, he's at 13, so... We can fetch out. Yeah, we don't need to fetch out. And we would have seen... Answers. That's the first game, and we'll be back.